you're shopping for an Argo in central Alberta, head over to Argyle Motorsports in Edmonton. They have specialist sales and service professionals for all types of Argo XTVs, as well as many other exciting motorsports vendors. You can also check them out on their Facebook page where they post special deals and interesting content. And don't forget to tell them Esme and I sent you. Hi everyone, welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael. So in this video, we're going to show you how to put together some Argo 6x6 plastic 18 inch super tracks. So the tracks arrive in around five boxes, which contain all the parts you'll need to put the tracks together. You'll need some basic hand tools, but nothing specialist. The whole job took me around six hours, including filming. So there is quite a bit of a commitment in time to actually put these things together. An additional helper would certainly make this job go much quicker. The tracks are assembled segment by segment with a pin driven between the two segments to hold them together. In the center is a bushing that locks the pin in place and is held solid with a set screw. There are 31 segments per side with one spacer. After you've done the first couple, it's pretty much rinse and repeat. Okay, so we're through the first box of track. So that's half of one side, I guess. And probably took me, I don't know, probably about 45 minutes. Uh, Cause I was kind of figuring everything out. So I've learned a few tricks already. I've learned, I've been alternating the pins. One side goes in left side, then right side alternating. Also they have this uh, locating groove where the set screw actually uh, stops the pin from rotating out. If you just wipe that so it's clean, as you're actually pushing the pin through, the bushing, so this slides through, hopefully you can see this. You can actually see when the clear part of the, shiny part of the metal appears, and you know you're dead center. And then you can put your set screw in. So that's something I've learned so far. This is the track spacer, which I found in the bottom of the track box. So this is the last piece that I think goes on. Made in Canada as well. So, so I'll just keep going on, hacking away at it, and uh, we'll be done before you know it.
So the stage right now we've pressurized all the tires to exactly 5 psi and according to the instructions we measure each of the tires which we have done. Move the circumference blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here are the instructions. You can see that on the bottom one. So, so we put the smallest set of tires on wheel one, which is the front, the medium sized in the middle, and the largest tires at the back. Uh, so my tires range from, I think it's 161 centimeters to 164 centimeters. So I know which way uh, they all have to go. They're currently set to 5 psi and I have to drop the fronts down to 3.5 psi, the fours, the middle to 4 and the rears to 3.5. So small, medium and large on the back. Uh, because it, these are the offset rims, so normally they go in this way, the way they took them off, but we're actually going to fit them this way around. So they're going to stick out further. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put those on. And uh, you've seen tires go on before. I think they've got to be tightened to 54 pounds feet. So I'll get that done. I think now this is where the fun begins, getting that last pin in. So it's to deflate the, the front and rear wheels. I'm going to try without initially and uh, see where I get. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to see, play by ear. Sorry the lighting's not great in here, so I'll do the best I can. Well, I've got to be honest, that was uh, much easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a real struggle, so that wasn't too bad for my first attempt. I'm just going to go and do the other side. Um, I doubt you want to see this thing twice, more or less the same repeat.
I'd say that's a success. Uh, serious lack of traction without the ice cleats. Uh, so that's probably going to be in my next job. Uh, but it seems to go well. Doesn't seem to be any problems. Um, so we have tracks. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and I look forward to my next trip where I've got the Argo out in the snow with the tracks. So until then, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.